Right, it's finally finished here after um, a little bit of added time and a bit of a delay in the first half. And Dorky Wanderers are victorious in a competitive game for the first time since March. Mark, how are you feeling right now? Yeah, good. Um, <laughs> proper old challenge today, wasn't it? You know what I mean? Truro's homecoming, mm -hmm. brand new stadium, incredible people down here, um, and loads of incredible volunteers. And I mean, you know, they're, they're now back in there. I mean, yep. look at this. I mean, you know, 2,700, so, I think, in here today, packed in. 2,000. I mean, they, yeah. I mean, honestly, this just, I mean, I'm so pleased for Truro. Um, and um, yeah, so it was going to be a difficult game for us, yeah. wasn't it? I mean, because maybe the script was written for them, you know, back in the town, mm -hmm. back in the city, rather, get a, get a win. I think we'd obviously really good value across the 90. Um, mm -hmm. We kept the ball exceptionally well. Um, I was very disappointed with the referee. I thought she had a very, very poor game um, and I was disappointed with her movement in particular. Um, we had a clear penalty denied at 1-0 mm -hmm. uh, on Jason. But, um, yeah, apart from that, yeah, we, we kept the ball well. I thought we had, if I'm honest, I thought we had, like, um, we, we looked good all over the pitch. Yeah. But I want to really credit Truro because I thought they, they've done that thing that teams have to do. They stayed in the game. Yeah. Um, and... They were out on their legs mm -hmm. and they were physical. Um, and look, and you know, credit to us because we defended it really well. I mean, they had a great chance first half with a turnover. Yeah. Um, and and that was their best chance of the game, really. The one where Harrison made the save. Yeah. Yeah. Um, yeah. And um, the second half, I don't think they had a shot. Mm -hmm. So you know, and I thought we've done well, really well to defend them. So. Um, First day of the season, every yeah. manager will tell you you just yeah. want to get a win. Yeah. I thought we've we had, we've done okay. loads of things today that we know we, we look good, we had good quality. Yeah. Obviously we're nowhere near the finished article. We've got a lot of boys returning from fitness. Mm -hmm. Um and we want to get them up to hundred percent. But we've come out of it unscathed. Yeah, okay. No, yeah, I was gonna ask about yeah. that. How because you made five unscathed. subs, didn't you? So how were they were they just resting people and giving others minutes. Well, just that just first managing. game back. Yeah. So, I yeah. mean, first game back, legs were going a bit. Yeah. I mean, I think with that much possession, you want to be more than a goal to the good, wouldn't yeah. you? Yeah. Um, so keeping them in the game made it made them work very hard. And yeah. I don't credit to them. And John, John Askey's come down here. He's put together a brand new side mm -hmm. in an area that you don't know, in an area where everyone probably thinks they ain't playing there. Yeah. So they, they are definitely pushing water up here yeah. in terms of the... As an even playing field, yep. they're not in a luxurious position like us, doing three mornings a week, having uh -huh. scrambled egg on toast and all that stuff. Mm -hmm. The scrambled egg club, do you know what I mean? <laughs> so, yeah, I thought we'd done what we had to do to win the game. We had great chances. I mean, Gribsy had the best chance of the game, yeah. 1v1. <clears throat> uh, the game could have been sealed. Yep. Good battling qualities, good, you, know, you know, three points. And obviously, to both sets of fans, the yep. Truro fans were brilliant. And our fans, mate. Oh yeah. my days! If that's what we're, yeah. if that is what we're looking forward to all season, <laughs> that many people this coming is to not, <laughs> This is not a short journey to get. That's here. unbelievable. <laughs> I, can't, I don't mean. Listen, that that. I mean, I guess they don't do the home and away in this division, but we actually have three hundred fans here, yeah. Like, yeah. and yeah. loads of local people come out yeah. to see us that yeah. that follow all of our stuff and that. So I, I'm just, I'm really happy for the fans that made the journey. I'm happy for the boys to get a win, yeah. um, and I'm happy that they looked at times a class above yeah but they should and that is where i'm at with it do you know yeah. what i mean but there's a lot of good teams in this league that yeah. will look the class above today yeah so um um but um yeah but truro to their credit never gave in yeah um so this week will it be back to three training sessions this week back at the school or how are you plan for the, the game next weekend yeah training sessions yeah and then we've got two home games on the theater yeah. of rubber yeah um, which we don't like, we don't love it. It don't really play quick it's enough. Not like this, is it? <laughs> not like this, that, that. Look at the way the ball moves yeah, today. But yeah, you can't move the ball on our pitch like that, yeah. not unless you've got a yeah. JCB or something. <laughs> um, yeah, so yeah, weeks, weeks training, mm -hmm. plan for the game. I just appeal to the fans, pack out Meadowbank, yep. make that a 12th man. Yep. If I, I have to pinch myself now, honestly, I have to pinch myself when I look back at the pictures and videos from the last two years. Yeah. And see how packed it is and the support we've had. Yeah. If we can replicate that at home, that's a difficult place to come. Yeah, yeah. And we need to do that. We need to really pack it out. So, mm -hmm. fingers crossed, we do. Yeah, uh, I'm sure people will. Um, are you travelling back tonight? 
gonna go now. Um, I had a massive issue last night with chocolate fondant in the hotel. Right. <laughs> but, um, yeah, so I'm looking forward. I'm not really eating since then. So I'm looking forward to potential Burger King on the way back. I was going to ask you that. What was going to be the what was going to be the food of choice? Yeah, on the way it's out. probably going to be a Burger King for the whole team. Not a tuna wrap. Um, not a tuna wrap. No, no, no. We've had. Uh, I must have a sensitive stomach, I think. <laughs> we had a few recent issues. All oh, right. <laughs> but no, just want to obviously say thanks to all of our fans. Yeah. Obviously, all of our staff that have come down here. It's yeah. a long way. Yeah, yeah. And all the Truro way. fans and all the Cornish people. Yeah. Um, it's easy to, I would have said this, it would have lost. As difficult as it would have been. Yeah. Um, and um, yeah, it, it's uh, it's nice to see football people. Yeah. Because you go to people in this league that ain't football people. Yeah. They've been there before. Yeah. These are football people. So great people. Yeah. Brilliant. Okay, well, have a good week, Mark, Cheers. and we'll see you next Saturday. Yeah, see you then, mate. Cheers, mate.